Hi, I'm Karina Bauer. I'm the CEO of the IMEX Group and I'm here with Karen Katowski, who's the CEO of the Events Industry Council. Hi, Karen. Hi, um, Karina. I'm very well. How are you? Very well. Thank Good. you for having me. Um, so you've launched, um, part of the Events Industry Council and the group has launched uh, a major new uh, research study on the economic significance of the meetings and events industry globally. Could you um, tell me a little bit more about the study? Certainly. Well, it came about, as you know, we've been doing a study on the U.S. Uh, economic significance for a few years now. And it's always been a goal to, as more and more countries have been following that model, to roll those numbers up into a, what would be a global impact. And I think finally with our partnership with Oxford Economics, we had a partner who's really skilled in doing those types of studies and, and developing models that could help us reach that goal. So we're very fortunate um, this year to be able to do that along with partnerships with uh, IMEX and uh, the MPI, PCMA Foundations and Hilton Hotels. So um, we're really pleased um, to be able to announce those global impact results, which showed that more than $1 trillion in direct spending are a result of the business events industry. So that's quite exciting. Yeah, that's absolutely amazing. And um, can you explain a little bit more about um, how, um, how those results are put together? Um, and how Oxford Economics has uh, come up with this figure of a trillion dollars. Certainly. Well, not being an economist myself, I can give, give you a little high level. I know there were 15 country studies um, that they took a look at um, from all parts of the world. So globally, there was representation in all regions of the world. And then they also looked at other travel data and secondary research that helped them in their modeling. Um, so it was quite, um, you know, a, a complex process for them yeah. to be able to uh, to make those estimates. Um, but we're, you know, they've been doing a lot of studies like this for a long time, and they're very thorough. And so we're we're confident it is an estimate, um, yeah. but I think it's a very good estimate. And, and I, I, our research committee, who oversaw their work, were really comfortable with how they were proceeding, and they were involved every step of the way. Yeah. And um, a trillion dollars is a huge amount. That's an annual direct spend. Correct. Um, what does direct spend um, really mean in this context? Uh, direct spending on things like production and food and beverage and travel and the, the things that you would normally associate with um, the spending that happens around meetings and events. Got it. And um, a trillion dollars is sounds a lot, but um, when you talk about these massive numbers, it's hard to really get your head around what they mean. Um, could you put a trillion dollars into any kind of context? Um, I, I, to talk about other industries, um, some of the industries that are comparative um, to that size and scope are computer equipment. So Amazing. when you think about you know, the computer equipment industry and how large that is, we're right up there um, with that industry. And um, not released yet, but in the final results will be um, a comparison of GDP. And if, if the events industry were a country, um, we would be um, in the top uh, 20 um, of countries. Amazing. So, um, so still some more results to come in the future, but uh, we're really excited about what the preliminary results are That's showing. That's fantastic. It really puts it into context once you talk about the size of the industry being comparable to consumer electronics or comparable to the GDP of the top 20 countries in the world. That's a really amazing statistic. Um, you said that they're the preliminary results. Um, what do you expect to see in the future results um, once Oxford Economics drill down into the figures um, further? Certainly. I, the next um, iteration will um, have information on GDP jobs and then um, the preliminary study um, has results by seven regions in the world um, and will further drill down into, into the top 50 countries. Fantastic. Um, and do you, the results um, that have been released so far, do they have participant numbers as well? They do, 1.4 billion participants um, in meetings amazing. and events, yes. Fantastic, so. thank you very much. And could you remind us um, maybe just um, one more time who um, the partners are um, of the report? Yes, absolutely. Um, we're very thankful for partners who helped make this research possible, IMEX Group, so thank you very much. You're welcome. Hilton Hotels. 
the MPI Foundation and the PCMA Foundation. Fantastic. That's um, a great um, coming together of partners from the industry as well. Absolutely. Um, with obviously the EIC, who represent 30 different 32 associ associations. 32 associations. So it was, it was quite a landmark collaboration, I think, for the entire industry to yeah. come together. Um, and particularly also the the countries that shared their their country reports with us and other yeah. um, other partners that shared their research with with Oxford to allow us to do this estimate. Absolutely, it's great when you see the industry coming together to achieve this kind of study, which is obviously important for all of us um, in our advocacy efforts. Um, but it's great to see that collaboration. So thank you very Absolutely. much. Absolutely, thank you, Karina. Thank you. Good to be with you.